where there is thunder, there is lightning. The sound of thunder is a warning that potential danger is on the way, although rare people have been struck by lightning, obviously. Joining us to talk more about how to stay safe outside and inside during a thunderstorm is meteorologist and lightning data and safety specialist at the National Lightning Safety Council. Chris Fagaski, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us. Sure, thanks for having me this morning. How common are lightning strikes in the United States? Well, lightning strikes about 40 million times around the United States every year. So it is a really common thing, especially now that we're into June, July, and August, which is really the peak of lightning season in the U.S. So let's talk about what you should do um, and what your advice would have been for the gentleman in Woodbridge when you're out in the open like that and lightning is present. So the main thing with lightning safety is there's no safe place outside during a thunderstorm. So anytime you can see lightning, anytime you can hear thunder, you want to get into a safe place. So a substantial building, something that has four walls, a roof, electrical and plumbing in it, or a fully enclosed metal vehicle. Those will keep you safe from the lightning. And what about for those who have to be outdoors? What should they do? As soon as you have thunderstorms approaching and you're outdoors, start moving to that safe place. We see this time and again throughout lightning season where people will think that they can stay outside, they can go and stand under a tree, and that's when they get struck by lightning. So as soon as thunderstorms start approaching, start moving to your safe place. So the, you know, the gentleman that we're talking about that was struck by lightning on this field yesterday, uh, luckily he is in stable condition right now, and, and first responders were able to help revive him when they found him without a pulse. You know it's rare, and you've mentioned it's rare to be struck by lightning, but surviving a lightning strike, what are those odds like? So 90% of people who are struck by lightning actually survive. And it's important to know that if somebody is struck, they don't carry an electric charge. So you can begin first aid immediately. Call 911, check for a pulse, check to make sure they're breathing. And if they aren't, start CPR as happened in the case yesterday. And do you see a full recovery when it comes to those who've been struck? Unfortunately, there can be a lot of long lasting impacts uh, because there is significant electric charge that goes through your body. It can damage the nerves, it can damage the nervous system or your cardiovascular system. So people do uh, have long roads to recovery in a lot of cases. All right, Chris Vigaski from the National Lightning Safety Council. Chris, thanks so much for taking your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.